People who are elected are in need of being promoted. Most of you won't know of many independents if they don't have much money or many money backing them. But those who do have money backing them, you will hear about them because they can afford advertising campaigns and they can afford influence with media. And this influences uh, how you uh, vote and gives some means of control as to the outcomes of elections. And we, I mean, I think just recently there was an email leak by Hillary Clinton uh, where, she was, where she was talking about the need that they should have controlled the outcome of the Palestinian elections in Gaza, for example. How can you control the outcome of an election if it's purely the will of the people and you can't control it? Well, you can because you can, with advertising campaigns, with, with media and so on and so forth in your, in your pocket, uh, you can achieve a lot. And that's why the parties, the mainstream parties, will generally get elected uh, consistently because they have a lot of resources and a lot of financial back backers. Unfortunately, it's not one person one vote, but maybe one dollar one vote or one euro one vote. And that seems to be the case. Rupert Murdoch has more influence on the results of elections than, than, than most of you. And that's just, a, that's just a, a, a reality of democracy. And it's not only in the West, but also in other countries. If you have a media effect and influence, of course, one uh, group, one interest group can have much higher opinion compared to other groups. But we should not kill the system. We should build up the system because of that. We see that's a problem. Let's work on, uh, from there to improve the system. We cannot just say, oh, yeah, there are, there are flaws in the system. There are huge flaws in, democratic, in democracy, huge flaws with accountability, huge flaws with elections, and etc. But that doesn't mean that we have to give up and now go back to a uh, prehistorical view of the world. We, we need to build up the system. Democracy is not a perfect one. It needs to be built up in something different, something better, something that will include this kind of different characteristics and will provide us with better life in the future. So by definition, democracy does not mean that we'll solve all the problems in the society. Far from that. It, it is just one, one given um, value compared to what we have before. Uh, democracy is uh, about 2,500 years old. Uh, democracy is 1,000 years older than Islam, so technically Islam is more modern uh, than <laughs> democracy. I mean, I, I agree that we should uh, go back to, um, you, see, you said prehistoric, well, well, ancient systems, but the problem is that democracy literally is an ancient system, that it is actually from the ancient world, and we've uh, let's say brought some parts or aspects to it to um, to the, the fore. So people aren't averse to going back to history to bring uh, examples in, in the past. So all I'm saying is that maybe we should consider a, a, more, a recent and more modern example, an Islamic uh, government, as a as a comparison, or at least for, for Muslims uh, here who obviously are trying to look for solutions in, 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 for the Muslim world.